Welcome back guys. Today we are going to read another poem, Sunrise, written by Padma Sajdev, a Dogri poet from Jammu and translated into English by Dr. Karan Singh. In this poem, Padma Sajdev tries to tell us that there is no fixed time for sun to rise. We can say that poet in this poem has tried to tell us in fact about late coming school boy. In fact, poet tries to question the wisdom of schoolmaster who rebukes students when he or she comes late to the class. Poet is of the weave that it is better to be late for the light of knowledge than to have no light at all. So students, we can also say that the poem is about sunrise, late sunrise. But no doubt, if sunrise is no doubt, if sunrise is late, hota hai, even then, sunrise is sunrise because it is sun. Iski brilliance ka mukabla, there is no competition to its brilliance, there is no competition to its shine, there is no competition to its splendor. It is in fact sunshine. So we can say that through this poem, poet has tried to tell us that human nature, human beings should not feel that they are lagging behind. It is late. इसे कहते हैं ना देर आये दुरुस्तारत. एक तरह से हम ये भी कह सकते हैं कि आजकल हमारा जो गवर्नमेंट की वेरे स्कीम्स है, अजल्ट लिट्रेसी प्रोग्राम्स, अजल्ट एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम्स, तो लोग अब कहते हैं कि अब इस उमर में क्या पढ़ना? वक्त हो गया. जब तब नहीं पढ़ा, जब जुरत Education is a process of process which from cradle to grave हम कहते हैं it is modification of behavior behavior में change लाता है it is understanding ये जरूरी नहीं है कि knowledge of years है so there is no fixed time for education कभी भी कोई भी वक्त आप पढ़ सकते हैं लिख सकते हैं तो उन लोगों के लिए भी ये है और इसी तरह से हम sunrise के through poet ने compare करने की कोशिश की है ठीक है so we can say that through this poem, the poet tries to bring out two facets of his poetry, uh, sorry, her poetry, law for children and desertion of ignorance. She believes that there is no set time for intellectual freedom and enlightenment. All school children must be taught with love and to be trained to love knowledge. I will read the poem aloud for you. In fact, poet has used, you will also see simile and metaphor as the poetic device. Much use of simile and metaphor and extended metaphor also. So I will read the poem aloud. The sun was descending like a cataract in the eye of the sky. The rain was constantly splashing against the sky, washing it so that it began to look drenched and forlorn. And it was thundering in anger. The sun, seizing the opportunity, pushed the clouds away and crept out like a schoolboy quickly entering and covering at the back of the class to read the attention of the angry school master slowly the pale sun began to turn yellow and with that, its light scattered in all directions. Seeing the light, the schoolmaster asked, Where have you been all this while? Was your slate not clean? Or 
child did you not get enough to eat it is the time for the sun to rise by now the sun was shining in all its splendor it answered promptly what is the point of getting annoyed there is no set time for the sun to rise whenever it rises it is sunrise so students i have already told you that too much simile and metaphor has been used as i have told you that through this poem point towards to tell she wants to convey the message that teachers should not set or fix the time for students learning process students should be encouraged to learn at each and every point of time there is no set time for the intellectual freedom and seeking knowledge aap log bhi jante hain koi umr nahi hoti even ye bhi kaha jata hai aapne suna hoga ilm hasil kijiye chahe mile wo cheen mein na koi umr aur na koi ye karna hai jahan jana hai pane zamane mein ya jab alama iqbal ne sheer kaha tha ilm hasil kijiye chahe mile wo cheen mein उस वक्त इतनी ज़्यादा ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फैसिलिटीज नहीं थी तो लोग चीन जाते जाते कोई छोटे बच्चे नहीं होते थे बड़ी उम्रें उनकी होती थी और वहाँ तक पहुँचते पहुँचते भी टाइम लगता था लेकिन ये एक इल्म हासिल करना है यू हैव टू सीक द नॉलेज यू हैव टू गेन द नॉलेज बिकॉज इट इज द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम क्रेडल टू क्रेव इफ यू गेट द नॉलेज इट कैन मॉडिफाई यूर बिहेवियर एट एनी टाइम सो you have read here the sun was descending like a cataract with the first very line sun was descending yahan se clear hota hai ascending and descending are two different terms ascending means to rise chadhna and descending means utarna to sunrise kab hota hai morning mein east se but this is not the time sun is ascending it is descending it means it is not the morning time kyunki descend ho raha hai to afternoon hai ya noon hai ya evening hai so it means it is not morning we can say it is afternoon okay so from this very point if you will be asked about what time of the day poet is talking about you can say it is afternoon like a cat right we will study this poem line by line so that aapke mind mein koi doubt na rahe like a cataract here again it has been compared with the cataract what is cataract students it is a disease in which an area of the eye becomes cloudy yani ki mostly apne motiya isko kehte hue suna hoga bade buzurgon ko wo kehte hain ki motiya ho gaye ab hame saaf dikhai nahi deta hai so a person cannot see clearly so sun has been compared to the uh sorry cataract ke sath isko compare kiya gaya hai like a cataract by using the word like means here we can say what is the poetic device used simile in the eye of sky the rain was constantly splashing against the sky washing it so that it began to look drenched and forlorn so we can see sky is overcast and lightning is echoing across aasman pe kya hai badal chaye hue hai aur ghan garaj bhi hai echo ho rahi hai ko to pata hai na aapko garajna awaaz ka gunj ke wapas aana so sky is overcast and lightning is echoing across creating a dreadful atmosphere darawna sama ho there seems to be a sort of war going on between clouds and sky you lag raha hai jaise war chal rahi hai clouds aur sky ke beech mein the clouds are making the sky seem forlorn and drenched ab 
विकास स्काई इंतजार में है कि कब सन आ जाए लेकिन क्लाउड सन को आने का मौका नहीं दे रहा है इसलिए क्लाउड्स जो कि मौका नहीं दे रहे हैं आने का इसलिए स्काई जो है ट्रेंस्ड एंड फॉरलॉन फॉरलॉन मीन्स सैड लॉनली अकेला है विदाउट सूरज एंड ट्रेंस्ड मीन्स गीला हो चुका है सोख हुआ है हम ये भी कह सकते हैं रो पड़ा है अपने महबूब के लिए क्योंकि सन स्काई का साथी जो है वो सूरज है और चूंकि क्लाउड्स नहीं आने दे रहे देर सीम्स टू बी काइंड ऑफ वॉर बिटवीन स्काई एंड क्लाउड्स एंड क्लाउड्स आर पुशिंग द सन बैक तो इसलिए आसमान जो है वो गीला हो चुका है एंड इट इज एक्सप्रेसिंग इट्स एंगर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थंड्रिंग ओके सो The clouds are making the sky seem forlorn and drenched, unleashing their wrath on it in the form of wrath means gussa uta rahi hai, unleashing its anger on it in the form of lightning and rain. The mighty sun too seems to be deprived of its glow and glamour, and is forced to take shelter behind the dark as clouds. Okay. Now we will read another stanza. The sun, seizing the opportunity, pushed the clouds away and crept out, like a schoolboy quickly entering and cowering at the back of the class, to await the attention of the angry schoolmaster. यहाँ पे हमने क्या देखा? Find the sky. and clouds engaged into horrible combat sky or sun jo hai sky or cloud sun inke beech mein kyunki maine aapko bataya war lagi hui hai jab isne dekha sun ne ki aage ek dusre ke sath lage hue hain into horrible combat the sun capitalizes the situation it captures the opportunity means it capitalizes the situation and emerges from behind the cloud layer not in its usual glow and glamour halka sa deema pada hua jise glow aur glamour ke sath suraj ekdam se ubhar ke subah aata hai jab sunrise hota hai waise nahi balki thoda sa peela pada hua hai dim dim sa not in its usual glow and glamour but as a semi pale and shaky yellow deadened luminary ल्यूमिनरी आप सबको पता है क्या होता है हेवनली बॉडी सो कोई चमकने वाली चीज इट वॉज लुकिंग लाइक अ शेकी येलो टेडेड ल्यूमिनरी ओके सो हेयर वी कैन सी दैट पॉइंट हैज ऑल्सो कंपेयर द सन विद लाइक स्कूल बॉय क्विकली एंड ट्रेन एंड कॉवरिंग एट द बैक ऑफ लाइक अ स्कूल बॉय अगेन सिमिली हैज बीन यूज क्विकली एंट्रिंग इन कॉवरिंग कॉवरिंग मीन्स श्रिंकिंग इन फेयर यानी कि सहमा हुआ जैसे स्कूल कोई लेट आने वाला बच्चा डरता है सहम के पीछे बैठता है क्लास रूम में सूरज भी बेचारा डरा हुआ जैसे कि मैंने अभी आपको बोला डिम लाइट के साथ इसकी स्प्लेंडर इसकी ब्रिलियंस इसके साथ नहीं थी इट वॉज पेल सन इट वॉज लाइक अ शेकी येलो डेड एंड ल्यूमनरी इट वॉज सेमी पेल तो इसी तरह से स्कूल जैसे कोई लेट आता है क्लास रूम में बच्चा डरता है कि कहीं टीचर डांट ना दे और जब तक ना वो अपनी थोड़ी सी जगह बना लेता है उसका कॉन्फिडेंस वापस आ जाता है वो फिर से क्लास में एक अच्छे बच्चे की तरह बोलने लगता है बिहेव करने लगता है तब तक रहता है तो सन वॉज डूइंग सिमिलरली Again, simile has been used like a school boy quickly entering and covering at the back of class to evade the evade the attention of the angry school master. Now, again here, angry school master used for है. Angry school master किसको बताया जा रहा है? Probably, school master कौन है? Sky. Okay. So. इस चीज को हम बोलते हैं मैटर फॉर बिकॉज वन थिंग इज स्पोकन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन अदर थिंग ओके स्लो 
slowly a pale sun began to turn yellow. धीरे धीरे जैसे स्कूल में आने लेट आने वाले बच्चे का कॉन्फिडेंस वापस आता है इसी तरह से सन का कॉन्फिडेंस वापस आ रहा है और वो कैसा हो रहा है अपना कलर वापस आना शुरू हुआ है उसमें येलो हुआ जा रहा है एंड विद दैट इट्स लाइट स्कैटर्ड इन ऑल डायरेक्शन उसके साथ उसकी ब्रिलियंस भी वापस आई सिंग द लाइट द स्कूल मास्टर आस्ट जब ये लाइट स्कूल मास्टर ने देखी वो स्कूल मास्टर ऑफ स्काई वे आर हैव यू बीन ऑल दिस वाइल्ड कहाँ थे तुम अभी तक जैसे वो किसी बच्चे से पूछ रहा है स्कूल मास्टर अगेन मेटाफर एक्सटेंडेड मेटाफर वॉज यूर स्लेट नॉट क्लीन और डिड यू नॉट गेट अनफ टू ईट जैसे स्कूल लेट आने वाले बच्चे को कहते खाना नहीं दिया था सुबह घर वालों ने बुक्स नहीं थी क्यों लेट आए इसी तरह से पूछा जा रहा इस दिस द टाइम फॉर सन टू राइज ये वक्त होता है सनराइज का सो फाइंड इन द स्काई एंड क्लाउड्स एंगेज इन दैट वॉर एज इट टेक्स दाइम एंड कम्स आउट इट टेक्स अपॉर्चुनिटी सन टेक्स अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कम आउट द स्कूल मास्टर क्वेश्चन सन इट इज टेलिंग इट वाई इट हैज कम सो लेट it is telling it why it has joined so late is this the time for the sun to come didn't it get enough to eat to be able to come out in time angrily the sky asked the sun if afternoon was the time to rise ke ye waqt hai chadne ka afternoon The poet seems to question the wisdom of school teacher. इसी स्टेंस ऑफ में पूछती है स्कूल टीचर को हु स्पीक्स एंग्रेली टू द स्टूडेंट्स वैन दे फील टू कम इन टाइम विदाउट ट्राइंग टू सी वेदर दियर वर सम रीजन फॉर दम टू बी लेट हो सकता है बच्चा किसी वजह से लेट होता है सो so, कहती है क्यों एज सन सीज वट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ गेटिंग एन राइट So, वो कहती है क्या पता बच्चा किसी वजह से लेट हुआ हो लेकिन वो अपना क्लास का वर्क तो कर रहा है उसको सीखना है वो नॉलेज गेन करने आया है उसे ये मत पूछो क्यों आए हुए एटलीस्ट वो आया है ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट इन दिस सन वॉज गोइंग डॉन एंड इट वॉज रेनिंग स्काई वॉज कवर्ड विद क्लाउड्स एंड वैन the sun took the opportunity push the clouds behind and uh started brightening in it all directions seeing the light the school master asked why why the sun was so late was this the time for sun to rise is this the time is afternoon the time for sun to rise in fact early morning is the time for sun to rise by now the sun was shining in all its splendor अभी तक सनराइज कर रहा था शाइन कर रहा था इन ऑल इट स्प्लैंड इट आंसर्ड प्राउडली वट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ गेटिंग ए नाइट देर इज नो सेट टाइम फॉर द सन टू राइज वैन एवर इट राइज इज दैट इज सन राइज कंपेरिंग द सन विद एन एरोगेंट स्कूल बॉय हु वैन ऑज द रीजन ऑफ इज बींग लेट responded boastfully that his arrival should be taken as the beginning of clouds it is equivalent to sun's boasting that its emergence behind the clouds should be taken as sun rise okay for everything there is a set time but there is no fixed time for sun to rise whenever it rises early or late it is welcome it should be welcome it is better to be rid of old thoughts and conventions there is like sun rise there is similarly no fixed time for the intellectual freedom and enlightenment whenever there is no fixed time for getting knowledge for seeking knowledge whenever a child wants 
she or he should not be scolded, should not be rebuked if he or she comes late to the class. Whenever he comes, it should be taken that he or she comes for the learning. Ignorance must go. Okay? And as ignorance must go, ignorance person should not be allowed. So, poem brings our two facets of Padma Sajdeva's poetry. Love for children and desertion of ignorance. She believes that there is no fixed time for intellectual freedom. All school children must be taught with love and to be trained to love knowledge. Okay, so if you will be asked the questions, why was the sky thundering? The answer is, who was it angry with? Sky was thundering because it was angry with the sun that was slow in coming out of the clouds. Who questions sun and why? Sky questions sun. Have you seen anywhere the personification used in the poem Sunrise? Yes. Schoolmaster. It is schoolmaster or the sky. Sky is personified as schoolmaster. Who questioned the sun? The question, sky questioned the sun as the later has risen. Rather late at its afternoon now it is descending the sky. So poetic technique simile as the figure has of speech has been used. Ye bhi aapne dekh liya. Then metaphor ko bhi aapne dekh liya. Dono chize use hui hai isme. Kaha kaha pe use hui hai. Dono chize aapne dekh liya. Okay. So students if you have any queries with this poem. Let me know on English group. Kal hum next topic padenge. Next day. Till that, have a nice day. I will catch you soon. Good day.